welcome to today's video. So we have an appointment today to see our baby and I like making videos of our appointment days because I feel like they're such special memories. So I'm gonna take you along on my morning and our appointment is in a few hours. And so here goes the day. So this morning I had my very first experience with the lovely pregnancy um, calf cramps. I couldn't go to sleep last night and then this morning before the sun came up, like it jolted me awake. Like I was in a, the middle of like a deep dream and I just like shot up and I was like, and then I thought Shane was next to me because like his body pillow was there and the blanket was over. I was like, oh, he's here. Like I'm gonna freak him out if I'm like going like, ah. Oh. So I was like holding it in and I like couldn't relieve it cause I was like half asleep. But man, like I've heard women talk about those like calf cramps but like that was something else like my leg is still sore it feels like someone jabbed a knife in my calf but yeah but Shane wasn't next to me so then like I like reached my hand and like felt that he wasn't there and then I was just like oh <laughs> like it was so bad anyways I am in desperate need of some gas so I gotta go get gas and then I need to go get groceries for the week and then also I was thinking of running into Old Navy because I've outgrown all of my shirts. Like they all show the belly band on my shorts, but it's like so hard cause you don't want to spend money on maternity clothes that are just going to fit. Like I'll be out of them in like three months in a couple weeks. So like then they'll just be these huge shirts. So it's hard cause it's been so hot lately. So I'm just waiting for fall weather. It's the middle of September right now. Like it should get cool soon, I'm hoping. But, so I'm gonna go get some gas right now. Okay, I just got back from getting gas, going to Old Navy, Trader Joe's, and Ulta. So I was gonna show what I got. So from Old Navy, I just picked up, it looks very similar to what I'm wearing right now, but a higher neckline. And it's just soft and comfy and it's longer in the front so that it can cover my belly as it grows. And it was like on sale, so I just wanted to get something like cheaper. And then I swapped out the First Aid Beauty um, moisturizer that I didn't like. It was kind of like giving me breakouts for this Bare Minerals one. There we go. So I switched out for this one. It is the Butter Drench Restorative Rich Cream. My skin has been very dry since I've been pregnant, so I'm gonna try that out. And then I love Trader Joe's hauls, so I'll show you what I get for like a week of groceries. But I have some stuff like left over, so this isn't everything. So I just got orange juice, bananas. Oh, I got cinnamon rolls. I'm so excited, I have never tried these before. A really easy frozen lasagna because sometimes I'm just tired at night and it's really good. And then some things for Shane's lunch, like snacks and stuff. And I needed butter and then I got two boxes of blueberries. I don't know where the other ones are. More like snack things for Shane to take us to school, <laughs> to work. And then I'm really excited, I got some little pumpkins to decorate my house a bit. I like this bread from Trader Joe's, the multi-grain one. Got some of their eggs. There's my other box of blueberries. I got three of these little pumpkins. Some granola. Strawberries. We'll put those over here. String cheese, some Italian sausage. Oh, I got, these are amazing from Trader Joe's, amazing. I don't get them every time because I will eat those in like five days, so that's dangerous. I got some hash browns, I've heard that these are really good. They just heat them up on the, on the stove top and then some vanilla yogurt and that's it and then i go to sprouts for like all my fresh produce because their peaches and all their produce is so good but yeah um i have some like meats in the freezer already from last week that we didn't get to so that's why i don't have like any main dish items and yeah i'm already stocked up on like frozen veggies and stuff so i'm just gonna 
wash the berries, put everything away, make myself some food, and then take a nap because I did not sleep good last night. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's a few hours later now and Shane got home from work. We ate like a late lunch and then went upstairs and just relaxed for a little bit and it's time to go to our appointment and hopefully see our baby. Um, they usually don't do ultrasounds like between 20, I think you get like two in the very beginning of your pregnancy and then not again until the end. So I'm hoping today they'll do like a quick one and we can just see him and see him wiggle. I don't know what this hair is. I need to fix my hair. Um, I used that new lotion and I really, really liked it and my skin feels really moisturized and I needed something thicker and I really like it. So, well, you know, there's Shane. What's up guys? So I'm super stoked that we get to go to see Oliver today. I hope we get to see him. We're going in for our 24 week. 24 week appointment. I can't believe how fast time is going by. Seriously. And I just really hope that our doctor allows us to see him. <laughs> but I'm glad that I'm, I'm able to get off work and uh, be there to support Kristen and just be there for little Oliver. So I'm super stoked. Okay. So. Okay, so we just got back from our appointment. It's like hard to record in there. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm watching you. It's hard to record in there um, in the waiting room, but we got a clip of the ultrasound. So He's here so it is. Big. Here it is. He's big. <laughs> again does not really matter at this point later it will matter but he's side he's like side there's this little touch Dang. oh my yeah, gosh to his privates um, okay then here's your fluid all the black that's great the kink good can you see that here can you see that nose eyes mouth chin my brush is hard for it i know sometimes it's the angle that's what i wanted to Nice wow. <laughs> and then you can see the mouth a little bit. All right, so all the fluid is good, so stay hydrated. Okay. Okay. So cool. Right there. And he's gone so big, and um, he was kicking so much, like from the time that I got into the doctor's office and stuff. And his head was over on the left side of my body, and then his little butt. And his legs were like bent in, his little butt was on the right side of my body. And then I got told that I have an anterior placenta, which means that my placenta is at the front and it's between him and my like belly. So when he kicked, like I shouldn't be feeling him as strong, but like I've been feeling him kick since I was like, what, 17, 18 weeks. So I just feel like that means that he's really strong. That's what I'm interpreting it as. <laughs> Um, and then another thing is she had to measure my cervix because I was having some pressure but that all looked normal and I think that's it oh my next appointment is my glucose test so if you don't know what that is you get this drink that's literally like sugar and for my doctor um, I'll have this here at home and then in the morning I can't eat any sugar then I have to drink this and exactly one hour after I drink it, I have to go and get my blood taken and it measures how your body processes sugar. So then if you're borderline diabetes, then you have to get more blood taken and it's like a three hour process to check and make sure you don't have like gestational diabetes. So that's kind of an update. Um, and we got our results of our anatomy scan and everything was normal and yeah, I think that's it. So tonight, 
I'm going to a women's Bible study. We're um, studying of this book right here. It's called Uninvited. And I'm doing it with like a lot of women at my church. And Shane's gonna hang out with Emmy at home, I think. I, mean, I don't know, we're gonna go get dinner before, but I'm gonna close out this video right here. So thank you for watching. Thanks for keeping updated with our baby. And we'll see you next time. Bye.